Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are gonna continue our look at painting the Dreadwood Dryads. And so as you can see here, we have our model already assembled and ready to go, and he's been primed in a light gray of Vallejo primer, spraying it around 30 PSI from a Badger Patriot 105, for anybody who needs to know that detail. Fenrisian Gray is going to be the base coat, and this is pretty much how we did it for the airbrush version. And this is really just to kind of show that obviously that we can do uh, anything we can do on an airbrush, we can pretty much do by paintbrush. And it just takes just a little bit longer, but otherwise uh, it is exactly the same. And as you can see here, I'm just taking the Fenrisian Gray, gray and I'm just simply applying it over to the entire model. Uh, it was thinned out just really the dampness with the brush. And once that is done, I come in with some Incubi Darkness, slap a little bit onto the palette, and begin applying it heavily near the feet. And I'm only going maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, about a third of the way up the limb. Again, pretty much how we had done in the previous example, other than automatically ending up with that color fade. But that's because of the brush uh, just simply, you know, gives us that effect uh, versus we're going to have to build up to it uh, here because, again, we're working with a regular paintbrush. And so as you can see here, following the same ex uh, similar example that we did in the first video, we are basically just kind of coming in one third, halfway, whichever. It's no really hard, fast rule for it, just as long as we have some space to allow for a gradient to build up onto these uh, areas. So then next, I, I thin down the color a bit with some water or medium, whichever way you want to go, and then begin applying the color uh, rather kind of haphazardly. Uh, as a transition between uh, the Fenrisian Grey and the Incubi Darkness. Uh, really, I think if I had a, gone a little bit less uh, distance with the Incubi Darkness, I think I would have gone just a little bit more of this uh, transitional kind of phase. But I just really was just looking for this initial transition color between the two. Kalia Green Shade is next, and basically what we're going to do here is we're going to thin this down. We're going to use a little bit of Liquitex Flow Weight and a very heavy helping of... Uh, Lamian medium and basically what we're doing here is we're going to shade wash the entire model now this of course is going to help create those transitions into the incubi darkness on the limbs as well as all uh, deepening up the color on the fender racing grade now this is uh, a little bit heavier in effect than we had done in the previous example uh but either way i mean if we, we could have easily gone just a little bit too far uh in this regards uh with the uh, in previous example so either one just kind of show you the extreme of, of if you don't thin it out uh, quite as much, which is not a huge deal. Non oil is next in exactly the same regard. We're going to simply uh, highlight or basically apply this to the fingers because we want to get those nice and black. We're going to apply this onto the feet and about halfway up the uh, incubi darkness transition on the uh, on the rest of the limbs and uh, branches and such because again we want that to be nice and dark. Now we could come in with Abaddon black or something like that and apply it to those uh, but I don't feel it's entirely necessary uh, I think because again with the uh, known oil it would leave behind those hints of blues which is what we like and so I really wouldn't you know come in quite with, with uh, some heavy black or anything like that Fenrisian Grey and we're going to dry brush this mostly at pretty much where we have predominantly the Fenrisian Grey but this is just to help create, create uh, some transition in there. Now this step was not implemented when we had done the dry brushing as our, our uh, when we airbrushed this because we had already created our subtle fade from the darker colors up the Fenrisian Grey. Uh, whereas this is kind of helping push back some of those points as well. Ulthran Grey is next and basically what we're doing is slap a little bit onto the palette and yes we are going to dry brush this final step as well kind of like what we had done previously and concentrating mostly at the face again because that's kind of the focal point of the model but then we're going to hit a little bit onto to the uh, chest as well as the shoulders uh, and a little bit at the hips uh, back shoulder blades and the um, uh, buttocks of the, of the model and also just a little bit up some of the branches and such just to catch a little bit of those details and really kind of bring them to the forefront get that nice woody texture but that is it that's a dreadwood dryad well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming. Thank you.